Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Brown Callie, and I would like to welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. In case I didn't tell you personally, we, this week was nothing but foolishness. So we're going to get right into this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, notification bell, all the good stuff. So the ladies this week in Costa Rica at the restaurant, uh, CC, OG, and Jackie get there first. So they start to order their drinks and the other crew come in. So the ladies get there, they sit down, they eat. And of course, we get it going. Kristen starts with CC. And she starts with the whole drama thing about how, um, you know, she want to start in with CC, and CC's like, you know, I don't even want to fool with you because you got Byron kids hating me. And they're like, you know, she's like, no, Thomas don't hate you. London just see you for who you really are. And I'm thinking... So who is she really? What do, what does that mean? Like, what do you mean by that? And of course, CC gives her the little hush, like shush shush her, like <laughs> like a little kid, like I'm your mama. You need to hush up now. We in church. <laughs> Where I thought that was funny. Like who, who shushes another grown woman? Obviously, CC does. So she gives her the little hush thing and um. And the the producers of the show are just as trifling as the ladies. Because while this is going on, the cameraman zooms in on Evelyn. And Evelyn is, is sitting there giving uh, Cece the evil eye while this is going on. And I'm just like, they just is messy. They love th th this foolishness too. So Jackie chimes in like, yep, this is family. You know, she makes, she got to put her little two cents in there talking about this is family, which is true. You know, families argue, but most of them don't do it in front of other people. You know, this is stuff that goes on behind closed doors. Like you don't keep your business in the streets and you don't involve all these outsiders who have absolutely nothing to do with the family in family business. So... Let's get back to it. Uh, you know, Kristen says she wants Cece to tell the truth. Tell the truth about what? I, I don't understand what she keeps saying that Cece is lying about. I don't... I must have missed something somewhere. Because I'm confused on what it is that she keeps implying that Cece's not telling the truth about. Is... Can someone fill me in on that? Because I don't understand what is she saying that she's lying about. She said, you turn the kids against me. So, is that the lie she's saying? That she didn't do it? Like, is that what she's referring to? Like, so, the streets are saying that CC is the reason why Byron got the divorce from London and from Th Thomas and, and London mother. So if that's the case, then that's why they don't like you. It has nothing to do with all this other stuff that's going on. And Cece says, no, they was already broke up when I got involved. So is that the real issue here that no one's really speaking on? Is that the real issue of why the children feel a certain way towards you. So, you know, then they go to Kristen being in the confessional and she says she's, she's a puppet master. And I'm I'm like, what who is she controlling? Because obviously the ladies on the show feel a certain way towards her. They don't really mess with her like that. The kids don't mess with her. So who's she controlling? Who's she who she's supposed to be the puppet master of? That don't make no sense. So I don't know what who is she talking. She's the puppet master of Byron. Yeah, I, I didn't get that either. Like, okay, so she the puppet master of who? Now, OG 
is sitting there eating her food while Kristen and Cece is talking. And Kristen, just out of nowhere, tells OG, don't shake your head. And I'm bringing that up because I want to point out how these ladies have been doing this throughout the whole show, if you've really been paying attention. How they've been playing this little manipulation game of making OG look like she's the bad guy during this whole season of the show. If I don't know if you guys have are able to go back and watch it and see it if you recorded it. OG hasn't said a word. She hasn't butted in the conversation. She's minding her. She's sitting there listening at the table just like everybody else. And she's eating her food. And Kristen just, OG, don't shake your head. So you are putting her in a light to make her look in a negative way. Now, a grown woman can't shake their head. I'm just asking, like, this is what we do now. We tell grown people they can't shake their head. Okay. So even if she did do it, the fact that you want to point it out, which they didn't show her doing it. And OG's like, I didn't say her do anything. What are, you, what are you talking about? She's looking dumbfounded like, I'm, I'm sitting here eating. But this is how these women have did this. Throughout this whole season, manipulate OG to make her look bad because she has CC back. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to point it out, how they've done it on this trip in Costa Rica. This is all planned. This is not no, we're going to just do this. this. These women sat up and thought about it. That's why Shawnee separated the group. Instead of having everybody in one place, she separated it because she in on it too. And she's just as trifling as Evelyn. Which, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to point that out too. I'm going to bring receipts on everything I say in this video. So let's continue on this recap of this season's show. Um, so, Jackie suggests the ladies go to her therapist. Because she's like, I need therapy. You know, this this is family matter. Y'all going to be family. This is going to be your daughter-in-law. Y'all, this is going to be your mother-in-law. Y'all need to get some counseling. And my therapist can help y'all. And of course, Kristen being sarcastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she's got the sarcastic attitude. Because really, she don't have no intentions on resolving anything. Because you have to look at it like this. What does Kristen bring to the show? Nothing. She resolved her issues with Cece. She don't have no storyline. She does nothing. She She's boring. Her only thing is if I keep up this conflict with my father-in-law and his soon-to-be wife, then I'm relevant for this show. I'm relevant because I'm bringing something to the show. I'm creating a drama. Other than that, I'm boring. Ain't nothing going on with me. Ain't nothing going on with my husband. We're, we're two born people. So this is what keeps us relevant so we can be on the show. So I can get a check. This is all this is. So why am I going to try to solve something? I keep creating a problem. Why would I solve it? I keep causing a problem. I just sat here and started an argument. I keep calling her a liar. I keep bad-mouthing my father-in-law. I keep creating these issues that's coming up in our family. Why would I resolve the problem? I am creating them. You really think she's going to go to therapy? All she had to do is shut up and apologize, and that would resolve the problem. You don't need a therapist for that. Of course she's not going to resolve no problem, because that's going to stop her check. So... Yeah, that's that's a waste. That's that's a waste. So, of course, Miss Evelyn sees the opportunity because, you know, Kristen makes a little comment because, you know, they her and, um her uh Kristen and Cece going back and forth and 
at this time, Chris, uh, Cece has brought up how in the past, well, since you want to bring up past things that we've said about ladies in the group, you know, past things, I'm going to bring up the past, how you in the past called Shani a B. The big B word. So, now Shani's looking like, huh? So, of course, in the confessional, Shani's like, well, you know, if she called me that before I knew her, it, it doesn't matter. Sure, it doesn't matter. Sure, it doesn't matter. So, you know, Kristen at the table says, you know, I need a napkin. And, and Shani passes her one. And then Kristen calls her B, you know, tr to try to diffuse what Cece has said. That's all that was about. Like, let me let me try to play this off. Like, yeah, like I really said that. We know you really said it. We know you really said it. Now you're trying to downplay it to so that you don't get kicked off. Because we know what happens when people call Shandy that word. Yeah, their contracts don't get renewed. Look at Brandy. So, now Evelyn interjects her busybody self in it. Oh, I know. Cece better not refer to me like that again. And she says this by pointing at Cece. And of course, Cece's like, I've had enough of Evelyn. I've had enough of all these women talking trash to me. And she's like, you know what? You don't even know what you're getting yourself into. And Evelyn is like, huh? Like, what? Like, she, she actually said something back to me? Like, for real? She's so surprised. Like, huh? What'd you, what'd you say? And Cece repeated herself. And I'm like, it's about time. So now, after the initial shock has worn off, Evelyn feels like, oh no. Oh no, she did not stand up for herself. I know she did not talk back to me. Really? Don't she see me with these cornrows in my head? Don't she see that my hair is braided? She think the hood will not come out of me? Don't she know what this means? And... Malaysia says in the confessional, you know, they edit to Malaysia says, well, when I went back and told Evelyn what Cece said about her, I did not think that Cece was going to stand up for herself. Malaysia, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. What type of person does that to their soon-to-be relative? So, Malaysia showed me in this episode that she is the weakest woman there. You ran back and told Evelyn what your cousin's fiancé said. So now it's home because now Evelyn and Cece are having words at the table. Now that's the first shady thing. I'm, I'm going to put a disclaimer out there because usually I try to keep profanity out of my videos, but I'm really feeling some type of way about this episode and you know, it may come up. In this, it, it may come up. So, I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. And I, if you're a minor, you might need to exit this video. Matter of fact, I might have to put this video where my it can't eat, minors can't even see it. Because I'm feeling some type of way. Because you are a snake. You ran your mouth. But if you looked at my last video, I'd already told y'all what my opinion was. How they all sat around and said, let's get rid of Cece. How they all had this plan on Malaysia, ask her about the cancer before we get started. Go back and watch episode, uh, I believe it's episode 13. It's, it's going to be the previous video before this one. Matter of fact, I'll leave a link to it in the description box. Because I said, this is what I think happened. And this just goes back to what I'm just saying now. I think this is how trifling these women are. They some trifling ass women. I, I tell you. And Malaysia is really showing you 
how weak of a woman she is. She ain't nothing but a little girl. I can't even call you grown no more. You just you is just a puppet. For real, for real. So Malaysia then went back and told Evelyn what they said when they went out on the little uh the little RV things type things, you know, when the ladies went out. I'm wondering how Byron feeling because I'm quite sure Byron watching this just like I'm watching this. Oh, so this how this how my cousin played my lady, huh? Yes, baby. This how this how your cousin played your lady. Hmm. Blood something, ain't they? Hmm. She real shady. She real shady. She she by far the weakest one up out the group. So Evelyn's like, oh, you talking like you want to be tough tonight. Like somebody's supposed to be afraid of her. <laughs> mm, girl, go have a seat. Cece had to get her together real quick, though. She had to let her know. You know, what I thought was interesting was how the cameraman... Like I said, they, them, they, they love the foolishness. If you go back and look, Shawnee had a little smirk grin on her face. Like, she loved that. Yes, yes, she loved that. Um, so, of course, you know, Evelyn loving to be the problematic person that she is wants to start with the childish name calling you know, wants to talk about your plastic face and and all this and the childish behavior comes out as usual. And so, you know, Cece tells her, well, you know, she says she, you know, Evelyn feels that she has a plastic face because her face doesn't move. Really. So, you know, CC tells her, well, you got a sagging face. You need to go get some injections and stuff. And then they're going back and forth. And then she tells Evelyn, you out here, still think you 25. You want to mess around with all these little young boys and stuff. And Evelyn's like, well, you know, I am single. What am I supposed to do? Be with old men like you who cheating on you and all this and that? So... I'm thinking to myself, did Malaysia go back and tell you that too? Did Malaysia go tell you about the, the, the messages and stuff? So, Cece, you know, she kind of like, mm-hmm. Yes, you found out how trifling Malaysia really is. You better not trust that little snake right there. She's shady as fuck right there. You better not trust her. Do not trust Malaysia with nobody business. So now Malaysia's like, oh, uh, y'all, y'all need to leave Byron out of it. Mm. Oh, now you want to diffuse the problem you created by going back running your mouth, telling what, uh, what, uh, telling Evelyn what Cece said about her in the first place. You created this whole situation. You knew what type of person Evelyn was. You knew what type of situation you was creating when you ran your mouth and went back and repeated what was said to you because Cece told you because she thought it was not going to go anywhere you knew that when she said it but she see oh okay you don't got my back you got Evelyn back so now you still being shady you still being the weakest link at the table the weakest link out of all the group of women. You still run in your mouth. And now you want to repeat what Jackie said. Well, now you want to say, well, you know, I heard that Phoebe is a crackhead. So Jackie... You know how Jackie is. Jackie gonna stand by what she said. Jackie said, well, Jackie goes into what she said. You know? So now it gets 
really ugly. Mind y'all, they still sitting at the table in this restaurant in Costa Rica. Because now, Phoebe wants to start talking about, oh, you want to bring Jackie's daughter into the conversation. It's one thing to have a conversation, disagreement, argument, whatever you want to call it. Y'all want to start the name calling, whatever. But when you start bringing people children, you have crossed the line. And once you cross that line, that's how you make real enemies. And so Phoebe's like, yeah, you always say this and that, but then you're so quick to call the attorneys. And Jackie's like, yep. So I'm quite sure this is not over between Jackie and Phoebe. Now Phoebe wants to squash it. Okay. So they've called such a scene now in this restaurant. The lady's like, okay, we need to leave now. And all of the people, the workers there are just looking at them like, WTF. These black women up in here showing out in this restaurant overseas. Yeah, that, that's a little too much. But you know, what I thought was interesting is how everybody always got something to say about everybody starting these rumors. But no one checked Evelyn on starting that Byron is cheating on Cece. Shani ain't say a word. Like, that's going too far. But you checked Jackie last week when she said Phoebe was a crackhead Molly pill popper. Oh no, we need receipts before you bring that to the group. But when Evelyn said Byron is cheating on her, you sat there and ain't saying a word. Hmm. Huh. So Evelyn can do no wrong. She can call people cockroaches. Ling lings. That's your ace. Right? You take your ace to go see the uh the boutiques. What's she, what's she call them? The 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 boutique hotels. Cause that's her ace. Huh. So your ace love to disrespect other women, especially black women. So the next day, the women get up and they're reminiscing about the the night before and, and stuff. And while they're talking, trifling ass Shawnee tells the ladies, y'all gonna have to regroup. Because, you know, they took an L. They're, they're talking about how they took an L. CC defeated them last night. And they need to get a W today. They took a loss. To, and today they're going to have to... And Shawnee told them, y'all going to have to regroup and at least balance this out. So, you encourage them to do this foolishness. Hmm. Huh. You encourage them to attack these other women... Because you told me, hey, y'all need to regroup and balance things out. So if you took a loss, then y'all need to do something to get a win today. She calls Jackie up and told them, hey, y'all, come over here to around 4 to go swimming. Me and uh, Evelyn are going to go check out a potential place that I'm thinking about purchasing. Her and Evelyn go look at the place. Um, look like a little rinky-dink place. Look like uh, a lot of money would have to be put into it to make it into something nice. Um, the landscape and everything looked nice. But what are you trying to attract? Are you trying to attract money? Like, what type of tourists are you trying to attract? So... Uh, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. 
So the ladies had already intended on starting a problem because they felt like they were, they took a loss the day before. So their intention was when they get over here, we're going to start some drama with them. That They had every mindset to do that. And Kristen tells Evelyn, let me talk to Cece first. That's all I ask. Let me talk to her first. So y'all had no good intentions to begin with. And Shawnee, executive producer, I'm the boss, Shawnee, had already told them basically to start some shit with these women. So when they get over there, Kristen addresses Cece like, hey, can I talk to you? And Cece's like, can I at least eat? I'm hungry. Can I can I get a bite to eat? This is early. I'm hungry. Can I eat? Well, no. I need to talk to you now. So she goes to talk to her even though she was hungry and wanted to eat. She still goes. And so OG and Evelyn both start to follow them. And of course, Shawnee says something like, oh, gee, she don't need no protection. Why? Like, why are you over there? Like, she's a grown woman. But she ain't say shit to, to, to Evelyn. You let Evelyn was walking with her, too. Because you ain't saying that because you already told them, y'all need to balance this out. So you already knew that they had every intention on confronting these women and doing something and getting something started and, and starting some drama. So you already knew that. And OG was like, well, I'm just trying to make sure she's good. Like, well, what are you going to do? Exactly. She's going to have her back. What, what are you going to do? Now, you didn't already start the pot. You didn't already kept the drama going from the night before. Instead of you being the producer, the, the person you are, you all about a check. You all about, I don't care. I'm going to sit back and act like I didn't do anything. I'm going to sit back and not say anything unless it's beneficial to me. Unless it's going to put more ratings for my show. Because I'm going to have my little trained poodle, Evelyn, go out here. Because she's, she's not a pit bull. She's, come on. And, I'm, and I'll say that because when everything hit the fan, she took, picks and chooses who she really want to get into it with. You're a little poodle. So, Kristen want to act all big and bad. Can't bust a great. You want to start uh, walking up on people and getting in people's face and all that. Girl, go sit down. See, he's like, I didn't come here for this. I'm, I'm trying to eat. I'm, I am got to go. And you want to start, oh, go catch a plane, go leave, to let Evelyn know, oh, she's leaving. You want to start getting loud then. She's leaving. Evelyn want to start running up behind her. Why are you running, not saying anything, with a big leaf in your hand. Why are you running? If you really want to talk to this woman, why would you be running to talk to her? You could have said, hey, Cece, I want to talk to you. You didn't say a word because you was trying to sneak up on her to fight her. Then you go to the confessional. I wasn't going to do anything. You a lie. You had no good intentions from the start with. Because y'all had already discussed how you were going to say this and that. You had so much to say the night before. It's going to be a problem. All this that you and Phoebe was already talking mad trash. You had no good intentions. You already intended on finding this woman. You already intended on doing something. So when OG sees you like, no. But Malaysia, oh, I'm not going to let her OG step to Kristen. But you had no problem letting Evelyn step to Cece. So you really don't care about Cece. You really don't fool her like that. Be a woman about your stuff and say it. Quit faking the phone. Quit acting like you really fool with Cece because you really don't. You really showed us this episode who you really are, how trifling you really are, how shady you really are. When it comes down to it, you ain't got CC back. Just like OG said, you did not have her back during that whole episode. When she called you on it, you're like, oh, you don't know what my intentions are. Uh, we can see what your intentions were. Because when it came, came down to everything, when everything started going down, you did not have CC's back. 
You had Kristen's back. You had Evelyn's back. Evelyn wanted to be this big and bad, almighty. You lied in your confession saying, I was not trying to fight her. So what was you doing on the little golf cart thing? When Cece was still trying to leave, when she said, oh, you were trying to sneak up from behind me when I was walking away? You were trying to climb into the golf cart to fight her. You were still trying to hit her with a freaking leaf when you was when OG threw you into the grass, into the bush thing. Stop lying. And then y'all going to say, oh, G's the aggressive one? No, oh, G's not the aggressive one. Shawnee's the aggressive one because for telling y'all what to do in the first place. She told y'all, go regroup, go handle this, go make yourself look good because she carried y'all. She made, she punked y'all out at the restaurant. Y'all need to regroup, try to gain face again because she punked y'all on national TV. So now you sat up and thought about it all night long, how weak you look. So now you want to fight her the next day. So that's what all that, that's what all that was about. Because she never said nothing to you the next day. So now you want to try to run up, try to be almost big and bad. Because she still didn't back down to you. You tried to sneak up from behind. OG saw it, ran up and came and broke you apart. Like, no, I'm not going to let you fight her. And you just happened to get tossed in the bush while she was breaking you apart. Now, the issue is this. When OG went and sat her butt down in that lawn chair and she was still wearing her mouth, why you didn't run up on OG? You have all this energy, all this negativity, all this I'm big and bad, I'm all that. Why you ain't using on OG? Yeah, we know why. Because mm -hmm. you really thought you could do something to CC. You better go check out some of CC videos. I heard she got some, 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 she, you know, that kickbox and stuff. You might want to rethink what you're doing before you really get hurt. Because you knew not to play with OG. Because she really would have hurt you. So then y'all want to say, oh, she's the aggressor or she's the aggressor. No, baby. All of y'all were. You running up on somebody. That's not somebody want to talk to somebody. Not once did you open your mouth and say, hey, CC. I want to talk to you. Hold up. Wait a minute. Stop. No. You ran up on her to try to hit her. To try to physically do something to her. And like usual, how you love to climb up on stuff. Yes, that was shade. Since you like to use little emojis about climbing things. You want to climb. So after all of this is said and done, Evelyn is definitely canceled. Evan is definitely canceled. So I see that Basketball Brides has been renewed for another season. It's going to be interesting. Who do you guys think is coming back and who's not coming back? And for all of those people who watch my other video when I talk about why Evelyn is canceled, anybody who publicly disrespects black women on social media of any type is canceled in my book if you agree or don't agree that is your opinion that is your right just like it is my right to discuss it and put it on my platform and say how i feel about it if you disagree or agree that's fine too. If you watched that video or didn't, that's fine too. But do not come for me with the foolishness because you will get deleted. Please keep your comments respectful.